Let's put this all together to create a search statement. We can use multiple tools mentioned in the videos you watched previously in this tutorial series, putting them together to create a very complex search strategy that will give us specific results that we want. I'm going to start off by doing a search on protest. I want protests that are specific to freedom of speech. So I'm going to put protest and freedom of speech. I'm putting freedom of speech in quotation marks to make sure that freedom isn't in one area and speech isn't in another. A similar term to freedom of speech is civil liberties. And I want to include that sort of broader notion. I'm going to include or civil liberties in quotation marks. But I don't want anything to do with the election. I'm going to do not election, but it could be elections plural election campaigns, like all different types of words connected to election. So I'm going to add that truncation tool at the end, which is that asterisk. I entered the keywords into academic search complete, but because by default in advanced search, there's only three fields, I'm going to click on the plus symbol and add election. Make sure I change it to not. So I have over 30,000 articles right now. And the reason for this is because I have the or. If I were to get rid of or civil liberties, yeah, look how much that changes. So really it's about playing around with searches. Let's see what it looks like in JSTOR. We've got over 23,000 articles in JSTOR. Now I could do the same thing that I did in EBSCO Academic Search Complete, where I got rid of civil liberties. Let's see how that narrows it down. It helped a bit, but the not tool does not seem to work as well. So that's something that you may have to kind of play around with. Some things work, some things don't in databases, you're going to find what we call limiters. It allows you to clean up your search results based on various different types of criteria. So some databases have teasers that are not full text. So you're kind of getting a hint that it's there's an article written about it, but this particular collection doesn't actually have full access to it. So if you just want results that are the complete text, you can limit to that. You can play around with publication date because you don't want something from the 19th century on your topic. You're looking for very current events, so you could do 2015 to 2020. You can change the publication type. If you want scholarly articles or you want articles from a magazine or newspaper, you can specify where you want that source published. You can change the geography. If you're looking specifically at the United States, you can change it to that, or you can limit to maybe a state as well. Demographics is the type of population you're exploring. You can even play around with subjects within your own search. Language is another one, so if you only want articles that are in English, you can limit to that too. You can also arrange your results list based on the newest or maybe it's the most relevant to your search, or maybe you want the oldest. So you can play around with that list so that you can arrange it based on what your priority is. By default, most databases are going to start off by showing you the most relevant results. 